Greetings to everyone. I am Saimira Darai, nurse educator working as nursing expert at Health for All, a project of the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation supporting the primary health care in Albania. A pleasure to present the study on training need assessment of primary health care nurses and future prospects from the pandemic. As part of the strategy to improve the quality of primary health care, uh, the project is supporting Ministry of Health to expand and redefine the role of nurses within the primary health care professional team to face the new health agenda. This undertaking includes a significant expansion and uh, substantial change of the work practice of the nurses, which require the adequate capacity building of this professional category to face the new health challenges and the burden of disease in Albania. The existing evidence showed that the COVID-19 pandemic has placed nurses in front of great difficulties. One of them is the challenge of planning and coordinating patient care. In order to introduce uh, innovation that uh, will enable the development of the necessary professional competencies, as part of education training during present and future health emergencies, it is essential to investigate nurses' views related to training education needs. The appropriate training in primary health care are framed by the specific features such as uh, primary health care services have a wide range and frequently complicated. Primary care's content and difficulties require a long time of training and it includes graduate study and national certification for the nurses working there. In order to improve the safety of primary health care, should be considering the implementation of the approaches related to uh, firstly patient engagement in the process of care uh, and care processes such as uh, administrative, diagnostic and medication errors, errors multimorbidities and uh, transition of care as well. The tools and technology, including electronic tools, and regarding the healthcare work workforce, their capacity building and continuing education need to pay a special attention as one of the most important factors defining the quality of care delivered by them. The aim of the study was to evaluate the primary nurses' training needs and to identify specific subject areas for future education. The data was collected during the period July to August 2022 using the focus group method, including primary healthcare nurses in Albania. The selection of participants was intentional, taking into account the typ typology of the health center and the geographical location. Group discussions were recorded using Zoom recording. Participants had 30 minutes in advance to answer closed questions and to express their written opinions uh, on open questions. Finally, each question was discussed and uh, the Zoom recording after giving uh, informed consent was the script, uh, coded and analyzed on a computer. A number of participants was seven nurses composed by six women and one man age 30 plus, uh, providing care for um, 20 patients per day. 50% uh, of the nurses reported they, they had received adequate training specifically for the um, scope of practice. They already are engaged and 60% of nurses say that uh, they don't actually have a calendar for their continuing education. Uh, the shortage of protective equipment in the workplace and having to cope with additional administrative work are currently the major problems that uh, primary care nurses face. It is noted that uh, there was a lack of training about the pandemic, other medical emergencies and the social aspect of caring. So as we mentioned above uh, to the question about whether they were trained for the healthcare service in which they are currently engaged. Approximately 30% of the participants were answering they do not be trained and the rest approximately 14% were rarely trained on the topic related with their scope of their practice. Regarding the focus of the training topics, two of the participants pointed out the chronic disease management and the common health emergencies. One of the biggest challenges uh, facing and reporting by the family nurses is the lack of specific training for COVID-19. The most important points for them to meet the task related to their job position 
were firstly to be trained dealing with the situation on both aspects, uh, professionally and personally. And uh, some of the suggestions to strengthen their roles to improve the quality of care is to have more time for patients and to deal with clinical care uh, with them and to have uh, less administrative work. Uh, in addition, they suggested to be trained periodically and to have a clear division of their roles. Based on the study findings, the first recommendation goes to create a comprehensive calendar of continuing education that takes into account the demands and difficulties experienced by the primary healthcare professionals. And the second one is linked with the needs to be addressed to the nursing staff educational training in the light of the current skill gaps. Thank you for your attention and you are welcome to ask questions.